safe jump is essential for layering your offense in Street Fighter 6. Safe jump is a jump attack that hits so low to the ground that you recover before your opponent's reversal comes out. To explain what a safe jump is, we must understand the concept of startup, active, and recovery frames. Simply put, startup refers to the amount of frames that must pass before your opponent can be hit by your attack. Active frames are the frames of the attack that actually hit the opponent, so when your move is active. Recovery refers to the amount of frames that must pass before your next move starts up. This is an example of a safe jump. Jury's heavy kick is still active even though she's so close to the ground. Ryu tries to start up an OD Shoryuken, but it doesn't become active before Jury can recover and block. Ryu cannot wake up with a reversal because Jury will recover before that move becomes active. The defender is forced to block because if they try to use any move to break out of pressure, they'll be left wide open for counterattack. So the attacker is safe to jump in, Hence the term, safe jump. Safe jumps are potent because it creates this false sense of weakness that your opponent thinks that they can exploit. They're more likely to block when knocked down and they're more vulnerable to mix-ups like throws, shimmies, or staggered offense like delay buttons. Keep in mind that moves that have first frame armor like Marissa counter and JP counter, these moves are active on the first frame and will activate even though it's a safe jump. I'm going to show you a few safe jumps and give you an idea of what you should be doing outside of safe jump so that you can get the most damage going into the safe jump and coming out of the safe jump. If you think you have a safe jump, turn on your frame meter, knock the person down, and if you see that you are advantage 42, that is the perfect amount of frames you need to actually do the safe jump. First safe jump setup we're going to go over is one we've seen already. It's going to be after a punish counter hard kick. Usually when we whiff punish a move, we go into heavy 10 Senran for extra damage. We can forego the damage and use our frame advantage to get a safe jump to get extra damage after the whiffed attack. This is great for the start of the match because if they block the heavy kick as you jump in, it sets yourself up for more pressure and you can start to get in on your opponent and put them in the corner. If they do decide to wake up with a move, it sets yourself up for big damage. You can use some of your meter and get some back as you play and put yourself in a good situation. And if you want more information on how to punish reversals, I have a video on this. You'll see the card on the top right and I show you how to punish every reversal in the game. If you use that video in conjunction with this safe jump video, you'll be able to not only force a reversal, but punish them as hard as possible. The next example will be a great way to set up after a DI. If you get a DI clash, if you dash forward and hit Crouching Heavy Punch, it forces them to juggle. Using this juggle, what we can do is do Crouching Heavy Punch, Heavy Fuhajin, Jump Forward Heavy Kick, and that will be our safe jump. This sequence is great for anyone who's antsy and anyone who's using a lot of reversals because if they reversal here, essentially, they are going to give up so much damage. If we look at a more optimized situation, well, Let's see how much we can do. Oh my goodness, what is that? I haven't tested this out, so let's see what happens on a CA. Oh my goodness. What is this? I'm like shocked <laughs> for myself. Who said Jury doesn't do damage? I need to have a cigarette after that. Oh my goodness. This setup could be used in the corner if they block the eye. You don't need to dash forward as they're already in the juggle state. You still get the safe jump. This sequence is great if they're already being overly defensive and you've already shown that you can cover their defensive options and if you make them block for too long, they're going to get antsy at some point and try to get out. So that's where the safe jump comes in. This next setup is a favorite of mine because it's after a very common situation. After hitting an enhanced Enkensatsu, crouching medium punch, OD Saiha show, and then an immediate jump forward heavy kick. There's two things to note about this. This setup is corner only. If you're somewhat close to the corner, you can always use meter to force them into the corner and then jump in with hard kick. The other thing to note, you cannot use crouching heavy punch for this setup. If you use it, you will be one frame short for the safe jump. The key for this safe jump is 42 frames. So if we're too close, we don't get the 42 frames. And if we're too far, we might get more than 42 frames. If we were to use crouching hard punch, we will be at 43 frames, which is one frame short for the safe jump. And if we use standing hard punch, we're at the perfect distance so that we get 42 frames. Keep in mind, this also works for OD and Kensatsu. So if you don't have the stores, you still can get the safe jump. When pushing into the corner, just make sure 
Your back is against the wall before doing this setup, or else you will not get the perfect amount of frames for the safe jump. I like this because it makes them cycle through their defensive options, and if we frustrate them enough, they might be pissed off enough to wake up with something big. Don't forget to parry as we get some of our meter back, and it allows us to punish even harder because we've used some of our meter. And look at this. Don't get in the way of a fool making a mistake. This next one's hard to time because it requires a frame kill. An easy example of this is going to be Enkensatsu, forward medium punch, EX Saya Show, EX Enkensatsu, with crouching light kick, and then jumping hard kick. This does a fair amount of damage on the front end, but it costs three bars. But it's really good at the end of a match when someone might be feeling antsy and they might be more inclined to wake up with a reversal option. Now, there was a little bit of extra tech in there. It's called an option select. If we were to jump in, and right as we hit, we hit the parry button. If we connect with them and they don't reversal, the parry doesn't come out. But if we do connect with them and they do a reversal, the parry does come out, giving us more meter to work with. I know it might seem like I'm only showing optimal situations, but even if I burn myself out here, as long as I can get him to make the mistake, I can kill Ken off of a level 1, not even a level 3. And he has like 57% health here. This next one is kind of like the last one, but a little different. OD go Osatsu, cancel to Enkensatsu OD with Light Punch, dumping Hard Kick. This one's a little bit more versatile because we can do a max range poke, confirm into it, and then get it even if we're mid-screen. I can buffer OD go Osatsu off of Medium Kick. Now, if I hit the far variant, I don't cancel into anything, but if I'm close, that's when I get the cancel. This is important because if Ryu tries to throw a button out after my pressure, if I buffer the medium kick after this, it catches him and puts him in that safe jump situation. Or at times where I can space trap, make him whiff a button, I can go right into the safe jump. And if we mix in everything that we've learned so far about safe jumps, about option select parries, about getting max damage off of the combos, look at the possibilities that we have here. And this is all because Ryu had the audacity to try to take his turn after blocking a move that's minus three. And if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to see more content like this. Let's transition into my favorite part, Feng Shui Engine Safe Jumps. The first one we're going to go over looks something like this. It doesn't matter what string you use to get there. If at any time you can end your combo, it's standing hard kick, crouching hard punch, you can jump cancel afterwards. After the crouching hard punch, we could jump after them and do light kick, medium punch, medium kick, dive kick, and then jump in with a hard kick. This is a strong setup because we can exit out of a combo, go into a safe jump, and then force a mistake afterwards. After an activation, we can get big damage, force them into that safe jump situation, and then it loops after itself. So we can go right back into it. If Chun-Li chooses to block, we can still force some pressure afterwards by going into a string like that. Under Feng Shui Engine, if we end our string with standing medium punch, they still can't hit a button afterwards because we're advantage two frames. And if we bring this all together, even if they block the safe jump, we can still keep our pressure going. And then if they hit a button again, we can go right back into the safe jump and put them into the situation one more time. Let's say, for example, we get this big punish and we're pretty sure they're just going to block because they know we have a safe jump in the barrel, right? If we know that they're going to block there, there are ways to break the guard. If we have a suspicion that they're going to respect the safe jump by blocking high, we could always not hit a button and just go low instead. I would use this after we've already shown them that they cannot do a reversal on this jump in. This setup cannot be done mid-screen as the crouching hard punch will whiff. If we make two adjustments, we can make this work. Instead of doing standing hard kick, we do back hard kick, we get the crouching hard punch. And if we use jumping light punch instead of jumping light kick, we get the dive kick. 
and we still get the save jump. This is hard to time because if they back roll, you're pretty far away, but with practice, you can still get the save jump. Our last setup, we ended with standing hard kick, crashing hard punch. This is the inverse. We're gonna end with crashing hard punch, standing hard kick, cancel the heavy fuhajin. If we do this string and we cancel the heavy fuhajin, we are safe from all reversals. This can also be done mid-screen. Once your opponent starts to look for a certain safe jump, they're gonna know that they cannot do a reversal on. However, if you change it up instead, they might not be looking for that exact one and think they are free to reversal. Just knowing these two setups here, your third eye is starting to open up. We can get big damage, going into a safe jump, force the flash kick, big damage, and then we can force him into the corner. And while he's in the corner, guess what? We use the first setup. Maybe he hasn't seen it. Tries the flash kick. Uh-oh, he made a mistake. And he dies. Let's look at a previous situation and how to apply it under Feng Shui Engine. OD Slashow and Kinsatsu into crouching light kick with and jumping hard kick. If you haven't shown your opponent this situation, they might think that they are free to reversal, and they're not. Our opponent is at 67% here. This is a very expensive situation, and it's a little bit of flash and trash, but everyone deserves a little bit of trash every now and then. You could have a little bit of flash and trash as a treat. Personally, as a defender, if I ever see a frame kill before I jump in, I just assume that it's going to be a safe jump. If we have a read on our opponent, and we think that they might be trying to scope out the safe jump, we can always bait them into it by going low instead, right? Because we're smart cookies. This next situation is times in which I am being super greedy and I want to steal more pressure and go in with a drive rush. What ends up happening a lot of times if they block, they get hit by this hard kick here. Under pressure situations, I would do something like this here. But we got the hit, let's make the best of it. So if we end the string with heavy kick, heavy punch, drive rush, crouching heavy punch, jump immediately, we get a safe jump. This is kind of a throwaway one because if we're not paying attention, hey, will we at least still get it? However, a better one to use would be something along the lines of this one here. If we end our grounded combo with a Feng Shui Engine Chain of Hard Kick, Standing Hard Punch, Enhance Go Osatsu, Immediately Jump Heavy Kick. This one's a lot better because it allows us to push into the corner like this and still get a safe jump. Even if we're on the other side of the screen, if we use some meter, we can still find our way over. We can still force our way back into the other side of the screen and still get the safe jump. This is also nice because this is a mid-screen bread and butter, and we usually end the combo with heavy 10 Senren. If our opponent starts to catch on to that, instead of ending with heavy 10 Senren, they might not be expecting a safe jump afterwards. Since we've been diligent and practicing our Feng Shui combos, right? We can catch them off guard. Big damage. And then, safe jump time. Our last setup is going to be a grounded Feng Shui Engine combo ending in standing hard kick, but we're going to cancel the standing hard kick to OD Saya Show, jump in immediately with hard kick, and there's our safe jump. One of the perks of Feng Shui Engine is that we can convert stray hits that we usually couldn't do anything with to big damage. Here, I'm going to convert to a safe jump, hoping that he wakes up. Yes, he did. I've been practicing my combos, practicing my punishes, and guess what? Another safe jump time. If they wake up, it's not going to be fall. They woke up. Bad news bears for them. Doesn't matter how we get there. As long as we end our string with a grounded hard kick into OD Saya Show. Hope they take the bait. They do. Punish. A new safe jump. We're going to make them stand up. Hope they take the bait. They do. And they die. But now we have a problem. We know how to bait reversals, but we might not know how to get max damage. Well, I have a video on screen right now to take you over there to solve that problem. If you're interested in doing more damage and closing out games faster, you got to watch that one to get the full scope of this video. 
If you have a question about any of these setups, let me know in the comments section below or let me know which one of these were your favorite. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Tell your loved ones you love them and give them a giant hug. I'll see you guys soon.